Hello everyone. Happy Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday everyone. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds for some people to come on. <clears throat> okay. So we have people coming on. All right. Okay. So my feed is building. Now for most of you, let me just introduce myself. My name is Ella Whitaker. I'm a black status presenter with Unique and I'm also a professional makeup artist. So I have been getting <laughs> countless messages from presenters, <coughs> from people on other teams and from customers who keep on hearing about this. And we are going to talk about luminizers and how they can really make a difference in your makeup. And this is something that has been in, you know, it's been around for a very long time. However, Unique is coming out with it now and it is gonna be one of the hottest products by Unique. And I will simply tell you and how different our product is from other products. So luminizers can be sometimes a very scary thing for many people. So. Let me just talk about what luminizers actually do and how makeup artists use them, how everyone can use them, and what colors you should get. I'm gonna do a little bit of a live demo to show you how I use mine and how you can use it. And there are three types of different luminizers out there. And guess what, Unique is coming out with all variations of them. They come in a liquid form, they can come in a cream, which usually is in a stick form, and then a powder. So we're gonna talk about some things, and I do have some notes they are in depth and I want to make sure that I go through absolutely everything. So although I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments on here because this is a live feed, I'm gonna wait completely to the end and I'm gonna look at this video after and answer any questions that you may have below. But I do wanna fly through this and make sure that I hit all these points and then I can leave the questions for later and then answer them all. So luminizers is one of those things that professional makeup artists always use and have been talking about for a very long time. But it doesn't make it an essential product usually in women's makeup bags, really. It really doesn't. And not the, ev the everyday woman thinks that she shouldn't have it. But this is the thing. It definitely should be because a luminizer is one of the smartest products around there. It sincerely is. It can create really beautiful highlight and create very beautiful, illuminating glow to your skin. And there's difference between illuminating and highlighting. So a luminizer is a loose term for a bunch of products that are ground up in a mecca and also shiny minerals that are mixed in together. The mineral dust reflect, reflects light. So when you apply it to your skin, it helps soften problem spots and highlights the area that the light then beams itself off and really, really focuses in on the highlighted areas. Kind of something that you're kind of showing and, and hiding imperfections. This means that it can be both under eye circles, um, help them to make them look less harsh, and play up your bones also. When using sparingly, sparingly, it can also make the skin look dewy and very, very healthy. So because of its softening abilities, people often assume that they can sub substitute a luminizer with a concealer, which is absolutely false. No dice here, okay, everyone? So a concealer you use in problematic areas, right, to hide and conceal areas, but that doesn't mean that you use a luminizer in those areas, in those problematic areas. It's actually a little bit of the opposite. So what you want to do is if you're going to mix it in with foundation and concealer, you can do that, but you cannot substitute it. You can add it a little bit, a little bit goes a long way, and you can mix it up into a concealer or a liquid form foundation. So, to highlight areas instead of softening, sweep a small amount of luminizer along the tops of your cheekbones before you put on blush or brown bronzer, okay? So, place touches in areas um, around your eyebrows also. We're going to talk about specific areas. And some people also create an ultra supple stripe down the center of the nose to make their nose really look highlighted and slimmer than it really is. So, 
A luminizer is a perfect tool to spruce up your makeup and give you a healthy skin and a healthy glow within seconds. That's what a luminizer does. The question is whether you should use a liquid, a powder, or a cream form for the best results, right? So you want to know which one should I get? Now, if you're a presenter, tomorrow you're going to be available to get all of the products. And what I highly suggest is that you get all of the Illuminizers in a liquid, in a stick form, and in a powder. The reason why I say that is because unless you use all of them and actually try them out and know how to work them yourself, then I definitely recommend that you get every single one in every single color. Okay, I really do highly suggest this because you can make extremely different looks with all different colors. And we're going to talk about the colors in a second. So the difference between a liquid, you know, the cream and powder. Well, the powder is a more natural look because it doesn't have as much pigment as a cream and a liquid. Okay, so that's something that everyone should really know. Plus, it's easier to apply because it doesn't require very much blending. That's a powder. So a powder you can use with a fan brush, any type of brush, and it's very easy to like really, you can blend it. It's really, really light. It gives a really, really light glow. But that shouldn't hinder you from using a liquid or a cream to get a great glow. It's actually a consistency that's a little bit more dense. Liquids are longer lasting throughout the day and can be used on bare skin. So that is a liquid form. And even the cream stick lasts a lot longer. Our cream stick goes into a powder. So, but this is really going to have a pungent pigment to it. You're gonna have more highlight with a cream and liquid rather than a powder. Now, what I do wanna to say to everyone is that there's a fine line between getting, you know, that Rihanna-esque type of glow or J-Lo glow. You know what I'm talking about? You know that beautiful glow that they have? <laughs> and there's a difference between, like, shine bright like a forehead. You know that song, shine bright? <laughs> well, you don't want to overdo it, okay? Especially if you have oily skin. We're going to get into that in a second. So first things first, you really want to rethink everything you once knew about placement Okay, rather than applying a highlighter as a finishing touch, many pros recommend to use them underneath your foundation and with your primer. Okay, so this creates a more realistic and healthy skin look. It concentrates the glow from the right places into the right places and keeps you from looking too dewy. So I have done this in the past where I've mixed in, you know, um, even our touch self tanners like the tanning kind of um, glow thing and I put it into my foundation because I had a little bit of a shimmer well the same thing goes with a with a luminizer you can mix in a liquid with your foundation two parts foundation one part luminizer now you can also do that with a primer okay so our primer you can do that with you can do with a foundation or you can even mix it in with a concealer to have a little bit more of a kind of thicker consistency now you can do that now you don't want to brush shine bright like we said because for oily skin types although i do it and i am oily i like to create a dewy look i like a dewy look during the summer i can easily do that and and say i can pull it off but for some oily complexions on the oilier side apply the luminator only on the outside of the face including the high points of the cheek and the bridge nose so if you are oily in your t-bone in t-zone area you don't want to apply too much on oily skin and that goes for all of your customers or any of our customers if you're looking in your customer and want to learn more about luminizers then what you want to know is for oily people you don't want to put it into the t-bone bone zero area you want to put t-bone i keep on saying t-bone i'm thinking about steak i'm pregnant i'm probably thinking about steak all the time so t-zones area because you're you know you're going to be oily in those areas and you don't want to have too much oil there so for oily people the best place in placements is easily around this area and on the bridge of the nose and what you want to do is put more of a matte um, primer in those areas that you have a t-zone complexion issue so what i like to use is our 
our eye primer because it's a little bit more matte than our whole face primer and what I do is in those T zone areas I then put that type of primer in the middle and on the chin and along here just so it soaks it in a little bit more and then I definitely put powder on top of that so now once you already put that on there, you can also, not only if you're putting it in your foundation, you can go later and then highlight even more areas um, and go back to your cupid bow. You could go on top of your nose and so forth. So there are some things that some people say you can be doing with your luminizers. You'll see different diagrams that I'll show you exactly where you usually put it. So most people say to do a luminizers above the brow go all the way down on top of the cheekbone, and some people even say go underneath where your contouring is. Now here's why. Because if you put a luminizer on top of your brow, it instantly creates a lift. It instantly creates that. Now luminizers also go underneath the brow, but on top of here, it actually creates an automatic lift. It's almost like Botox, <laughs> but, it, but you don't have to get the needle. Then you go all the way around on top of the cheekbone, okay, because a blush usually goes right on the cheekbone, and then a contour goes underneath. Now, we're also going to talk about bronzing, and we're going to talk about some other things in regards to that because there's some myths in there. And then underneath, if you put a highlight here, okay, especially with a beautiful powder, powder and a fan, fan brush, then if you do that right here, it's going to highlight the bottom part to, to then show it protrude a little bit more where the contouring actually would sink in your face. So it's going to create dimension inside, then an illuminator or the highlight is going to create more highlight underneath the, the cheekbone. All right, let's talk about a little bit more here. Now, the shade you should complement your skin tone, right? So we, so so many people are really thinking, okay, what skin tone should I use? What should I do for, for all my colors? Now, what I always say is kind of go by your jewelry. If you use more kind of civil, silvery colors, you want to keep it that way. But, okay, I'm a warm and I wear silver all the time. So, therefore, I can create so many different looks. Now, I've created these swatches on the back of my hand. So you can see the colors we have here, okay? So we have a per, like almost like a whitey color that would be a little bit more cool. Then we have a golden color. Then we have a rose, then a rose gold. Then we have a coppery, and then we have like a bronze name color. There are five different colors, and to tell you the truth, they will go with every single tone. Now, for lighter skin tones, would you necessarily use this all the time? Not necessarily, you can use it as a bronzer, but this is the myth about bronzing. You don't want to use a bronzer underneath your cheekbone that has a shimmer in it. That defeats the purpose of contouring, okay? So if you're talking about contouring, that's one thing. And if you want to talk about bronzing, that's a completely different thing. Contouring should always be in a matte color. Hands down, matte color is contouring underneath here. A lot of people put blush underneath here, but what this actually does is a bronzer should go on top. And the reason why is because bronzer has a shimmer, okay, our bronzer specifically, but you can get a bronzer that's a matte. And a shimmer is going to reflect light. So a lot of people are like, okay, I need a bronzer and I'm actually going to do my contouring with it. Well, no, you're actually not contouring. You're giving off a glow, a sun-kissed glow with a bronzer. And that's okay. There's the difference between contouring and bronzing. So contouring is with a matte color and you can even use bronzers as a matte. Now, most bronzers will have a little bit of a shimmer on there, but please don't get the two mixed up. So a lot of people get that really, really mixed up. Now, it really doesn't matter. A gold, golder color, okay, this golder color, or even like a rose gold, they're foolproof. It looks great on everyone, okay? So say you're going to create a beautiful pink, beautiful look. You can use the color. If you want more of a coppery look, you can use the coppery one. If you want to use the gold, you can, I like the gold. I love it. It. And then the ear, like the iridescent color, the really light color, you can use in the inside of your eyes and then on your actual eyelids. And what I'm going to go into that in more detail. 
So why you're going to love our unique luminizers, you can hear my son in the background. The reason why you're going to love our five luminizers is, Weston, can you keep it down? Scott? <laughs> We've got a little bit of an interruption. Okay, we have five different shades that can pretty much be used on anyone, okay? Absolutely anyone. It looks gorgeous in all skin tones. So you really don't need to freak out about that. Now, if you're a little bit more on the lighter complexion side, then, you know, you can stick with the three light ones. Absolutely. You know, that iridescent one, you can use the golder one or the rose gold. Now, if you're like a medium complexion and get tanned very easily, you can use all of these, all of these. And then if you're a dark complexion, hello, you can use all of these too. It's really something that's on a preference and I'm usually light to medium and I can pull off all of them and use them for different situations, okay? Now, another reason why you're gonna love ours is because they're buildable, blendable, and then they're very, very versatile. And on top of that, they are nurture, they're nurturing and they moisturize the skin. They've got different ingredients in them. That's not gonna hinder your skin. It's actually going to help your skin and make them look glowy well, it's going to look glowy, but it's also going to um, nutrition, give them nutrition. So let's talk about where to apply different product. Okay. So you can easily do it on five different spots of the skin and the face. So you can easily do it along the cheekbones, right along above to sculpt your cheeks and just add a little bit of blending so it doesn't create a lot of sheen on your face. You're going to want to blend this out. You can always do down the side or the center of your nose, and that's really going to create a pop and make your skin, your nose look very, very slim. So it looks awesome on the nose. So these are the two best spots to do it. Now, where else you can do this is on your brow bone right below your eyebrow. And I'm going to show that in a second. You can also do it on top here, just slightly where your arch is. You can add it a little bit there, but really blend out that spot. So what you can also do is on top of the cupid's bow, because on the top of the cupid's bow, you're going to make your lips look a lot bigger. So you can do this during the day or night and put it right above there. And then also to make yourself feel really sexy and look great, if you have a low cut top, you can do it on your area just above your breast area. You can do it on top of your shoulders. Okay, and you can also do it on top of your shins. And I'm gonna show you how, and tell you how you can use it on top of your shins because it's highlighting all these beautiful areas. And it's very, very subtle and it's making a beautiful highlight where it brings the eyes to your most beautiful features. Now, powder illuminizers. Okay, we have five different powders. Okay, so we have Whoops, we have the white, we have the gold, okay, we have the rose gold, well, we have the golden gold, sorry, then the rose gold, then we have a copper, and we have a bronzy one, okay? So, powders, great place where you start as a beginner, okay? So, if you've never used illuminizers and you're scared to use them, go with a powder. As a customer, you cannot fail with powders, and then you can work yourself up to creams and, and the sticks okay now <clears throat> sorry the liquid and the sticks so powders are pretty much foolproof it generally gives a quick and easy application and it is easily removable if you go over bullard so you can always take a cotton swab there and take it into the issue areas and dust it and put a loose powder on top and you can really fix those times when you use a powder luminizer and it can be also used as a blush Okay, so powders can be used beautifully as a blush. So you can actually take that, instead of doing a blush that would be usually a matte, you can use a powder as a blush very, very easily. Creates a soft shimmer and a beautiful finished look. So where you can apply these, okay, so these powders, you can apply them on the cheekbone, on the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, uh, the brow bone. 
You can also add it to the lips, dab it in the center of the lips after you put lip gloss on to create a sheen and a an highlight. And then also you can use it with a fan brush, which is amazing from Unique. So you can easily go with a fan brush, dab it in there, and a fan brush gives a very, very soft, and that's what you would do. And you can already see it's already giving me illuminating. That's how, that's how little product you actually need. So I'm just fanning that on there. So it's already creating a huge glow. You don't even have it on this side. You can easily say. So you can even use this as eyeshadow, whatever which way that you want. I'm gonna use that in a second as an eyeshadow. I'm gonna show you exactly the application. Now, liquid luminizers, okay? Here are all five liquids. I just don't wanna get them all mixed up in colors. So liquid form. Okay, I will tell you, hands down, this is my favorite form. Favorite. I find it's the most versatile for me because a cream is thicker. A liquid can be very, very buildable, blendable, and also give a beautiful, even fantastic highlight glow that has high pigment. I really, really like this and it's very easy to blend. So for liquids, they are easy to blend. They really go a very long way, like a little bit goes a very long way and we have a lot in our product in the actual bottle. So it'll last you a very long time. So start with a, with a dot and then build it up and then blend it out. Very, very easy for a dewy glow. You can mix it in with your primer, you can mix it in with a foundation or you can put it on top of the product that you're actually using. So where you can apply a liquid is apply it to the face, the neck, shoulders, this is where you can easily blend it on top of, you know, your, your decolletage or whatever it's called. I can't remember. I'm always getting <laughs> that decal part. So you can easily put that on there. Deglage. That's what it is. Deglage. So you can do it on that part to create a beautiful highlight and on your shoulders. That is easy with a liquid. You can easily do that with a blending bud and then blend it in very, very nicely. Um, you can definitely do it on the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the brow, very, very easy. Now, the one thing on the inside of your eyes, okay, you, there is a specific technique that you could be using on the inside of your eyes to pop your eyes open. Now, you can be using the white or even this golden color, okay? So this is the cream. These are the sticks, okay? So these are the colors with the sticks and how high the pigment is. This is the colors, as you can see. Let me get that, okay? This is with the cream, this is with the actual liquid. So you've got the white, you've got the golden gold, okay? You've got the rose gold, the copper, and then the bronze. See how I can build that up? It starts off that way, but I can build up that liquid as much as I want and it's very, very easy to blend anywhere on the skin. It just gives a lighter color, but you can build it up as much as, as much as you want. So this is the product that, like I said, you can blend with anything. You can put it with our Glorious Face Primer. You can do it with our foundation. Now this is the one thing with our foundation. We have a liquid to touch foundation, or liquid touch foundation that goes from a liquid to a powder. Now, you would think that a dewy kind of highlighter luminizer would not really look good with it it does but the best product that I like to use luminizers with is our BB cream it's amazing our BB cream is very very light obviously it's a BB cream but it gives great coverage and I really like manipulating the BB cream with the luminizers they are fantastic it gives great coverage and it's just very very light and it also gives a little bit more of a dewy complexion okay and then you can use a translucent powder on top just to give that really nice finish. So, creams. Now, creams are the heavy hitters, okay, when it comes to luminizers. Because when you have creams, which usually come in a stick form, here are the five, okay? You've got the first one that's the white, okay, the iridescent one. You have the golden gold. You have the rose gold, the copper, and then the bronze. This is the easiest form to use. It is super, super easy. So most people like a stick because all they need to do is go whoop, whoop on top, on the bridge of the nose, easy, easy. 
Now, you're going to need to blend that out though, okay? So it tends to be more highly pigmented. So if we're looking at pigments, it goes lower pigment, a powder. Then it goes to liquid, which is like the pigment is a little bit more than powder. And the most consistency of pigment will be in the cream stick, okay? You are going to get a lot of pack for your punch. And the amount of product you have on here, aluminizers are going to really last you a thousand years. <laughs> and we all know that you can't hold product for that long, but it's going to really use, you're going to use it very often and it's going to last you for a very long time. So they will, it will deliver, a cream will deliver a soft sheen, okay, other than, for, than the formulas. And um, along with applying it, it'll be very, very long lasting. Work in layers and blend as you go. You don't want to apply too much cream because it's very hard when it's heavy to really move, remove it. And you can easily blend it with a blending bud. Very, very easy to manipulate and to work with or even a synthetic type of brush to really move it around. Easily you can be doing this. So ours can be used, like I said, for a the the cream stick you can be using it on the face okay uh, on the cheekbones the eyes you can be using it on the bridge of your nose um on uh you can also use it down here but it's going to be a little bit more you're gonna have to blend it a little bit more so let's talk about do's and don'ts okay i'm going to start the demo and i'm going to talk about do's and don'ts as i'm doing the demo okay everyone i know you're all looking for this and my connection is a little bit weak but that's okay so I'm going to go in, I've already put primer on, and I'm going to go in with our BB cream. This one is in bisque. And I'm going to add a little bit of a darker, should be honey, but I'm using caramel. So I'm using a couple colors because I'm in between. I've been using self tanner from Unique, so it, um, it goes on beautifully. And I'm going to use Lustrous. So what I didn't do is I didn't bring something over here. I didn't. So I actually did a swatch and a chart, okay, of all the different colors. As you can see, this is iridescent, and it is backwards for you, but iridescent is that prismic white. Then you have that golden frost, which is the yellow. Then you've got lustrous, which is that rose gold, which is beautiful. Pearly is the rich copper, and then opaline is the one that is a bronzer. Okay, so you can use it in different forms, but this is the color swatch so everyone can look at. So what I've done is mixed in a couple of the Okay, I'm gonna go in with this. So two parts. I'm gonna add a little bit more of BB. Two parts BB. And then one part the illuminator okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just mix it around on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna apply it all over the skin and then I'm gonna go in with a blending bud because that's what I really like using so this is our liquid touch foundation brush and then what i like to do is use the excess and i go underneath the neck just to use the rest and then i really want to push this into the skin because if i'm dragging it i'm just pushing around a lot of the pigment which i don't need to so what i usually do is obviously start with the center of my face and then push out product outwards. So I'm not using a lot of product out here and then I'm gonna be left over with a lot. Now I'm using a blending bud and I'm going in. And so you can already see I've got a beautiful dewy complexion inclusive of a luminizer by using a liquid luminizer with my BB cream. Now, what I am going to do 
is I'm going to go in, sorry, I'm going to go in with a concealer, okay, and I am going to highlight, that is way too much concealer, but, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a concealer, And I'm going to apply it in the highlighting areas. And this is what I, I don't, because I'm oily, I don't like putting iridescent color right underneath the eyes. Because if I have baggy or darker eyes, it's just going to bring attention to a problematic area that I don't want. So I always get oil right here in my T-zone. Now, if you have dry or normal skin, you can go nuts with all of your highlighting, okay? You can go nuts. It is truly amazing what you can do with it, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I want to create a matte look because in those highlighting areas, I don't want a lot of oil in there. But as you can see, I'm already creating a highlight with my concealer. This concealer is amazing. You have any blemishes, it will cover it. It looks outstanding. Okay. Super, super simple. Now, I want to show you that I already have my eyes pretty much done. I've already done my brows with a brand new brow palette. I'm not going to go into too, too much detail, but I'm going to tell you what I used. Oh, look, there's my camera. There you go. There's my tripod. <laughs> okay, so my brows I did with, obviously, this is a medium color um, in shades. It comes in three different shades for brow palettes. There's a light, there's a medium and dark. This is the medium. I can actually use more of a light color also because I do have blonde in my hair. I went with the, with the medium and I started off with this and a little bit of that just to make definition. Now, what I also use this brow palette for is for my crease. This palette is awesome because it's a matte color and I'm gonna mix in the luminizers on my lids and underneath my eye. I actually use these as shadows. I use this in my crease as most of my crease and then I use a little bit of this darker brown on the edge here. You can use this beautifully for your eyes in regards to eyeshadow and also a brow. You can obviously use these two highlights. These are cream based and you can use them underneath your brows too. This is a versatile product and is going to be a bestseller within our organization also. So that's what I use as my shadows in my crease because I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the powders and you can use the creams on your lids also. It's crease proof. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I like, okay, I'm going to go in with this golden the golden frost okay this is the liquid and also the okay so a little goes a long way let's do this I'm going to show you exactly what I do so I'm taking that golden frost a little bit on the outside of my blending bud and then what I'm simply doing is a little bit and now I'm pushing it right into the skin and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go in a little bit again and go on top of the brow bone just to create a little bit now because I usually get really oily here for oily people I'm not going to put it here but for dry and normal people you can easily put highlight just a little bit in here but the best part is that you go on the bridge of your nose, on top, and create that glow. I'm also going to go on top of the cube as well, and then I'm going to do the other side. 
a little bit goes a long way. See the dots? Now I'm pressing in harder. And the reason why I like to use a blending bud is because it really does help blend the product and distribute it and manipulate it very, very easily instead of dragging it with a brush. Now, as you can see, that really does, and this is buildable, like I said. Now, if I want to create, this is the golden frost and this is the cream. If I wanna create a little bit more highlight, this one is gonna be the one that's highly pigmented. So I can go back in there with the cream and add a little bit more. Now this is a preference, okay everyone? I like the liquid because it is really, really easy to blend. But you can do the exact same thing with the stick and with the powders. You can easily do the exact same look. It really all depends on what your preference is going to be. So if you're gonna be using a powder, what I would do is, Okay, use a fan brush and lightly dab in the areas that you really, see how that illuminating right there? And add that in there and then go underneath also, create that line underneath where it would normally be contoured. And create that now like I said if I had a strapless dress spaghetti straps I go in with a liquid and I put them on my shoulders put a put on my um, on the my chest area you can easily do that and really create a beautiful glow and just add a little goes a very very long way now in the center of your eyes Okay, what I always like to do, I'm gonna start doing my eyes here. I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. So inside my eyes, I'm always gonna go with the lightest color or even that golden color in the eye, inside of my eye. Why am I using a powder? You don't wanna use a cream or a liquid on the inside corners because it can then go into your eyes and then get, you know, it's going to start moving into the eye. I really don't like to do that. So powder always looks really, really great. Then what I can easily do is kind of blend a little bit more. So I open up that part. Now a white is definitely going to open up your eye. Okay. It's going to open up your eye right here, right in the corners. It looks absolutely amazing. Then what I can easily do is use the stick or I can use a powder and use that on my lids. I can easily do that and make a beautiful lid color. Now, I like to do this through the summer, through like every single season. If you wanna add a light shimmer and a light glow by giving highlights, luminizers will definitely do that highlight. That is the colors that I use as neutral colors and to really put it on my lids and underneath the brow bone. It just gives a beautiful glow and it really picks up the light so beautifully. So what I'm gonna do is go in with, okay? Now, if you're gonna use a cream, you wanna use the splurge brush to apply the cream. So I'm gonna do this eye with the cream. Okay, I've already applied a liner and my mascara. Now that's with the cream. I'm going back in, so you wanna use a synthetic brush for that. And if I'm going in with this powder illuminizer, I'm gonna use a sponge or any other kind of eyebrow brush, or sorry, eye brush, and apply it. Now, on top of the eye on the lid, you can honestly use, I highly, okay, you can use any four of these colors. You can use the white, the golden color, the golden frost, a rose gold, or even the copper. Now, I don't know if most of you know, but copper color or rose gold is actually a mixture of copper and gold, 
<laughs> That's what rose gold came out with. So think about the skin tones. If you like copper and it looks great on you and you like gold, it looks great on you. Well, the mixture of the two is rose gold. So that's why it actually suits every single skin tone. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with, I like the rose gold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the at corner of my eyes and I'm gonna create a little bit more dimension and I'm gonna do the rose gold. Okay, and I'm using that on the outer corner. Look how gorgeous that looks. Now if I go back in with the cream to do the other side, I'm gonna use a splurge brush. Now you can use liquid too. You can use liquid on the lids of your eyes. Now why would you use a cream rather than a powder? It really doesn't matter. If you want to use, if that's what you have and you have a cream versus a powder, then use the cream. No problem. If you want to use a powder, use a powder. Powder is just going to set a lot better. That's why I like using it. Um, and then a liquid also is just going to, it's going to set, but you obviously a powder is going to look great. Then what I like to do is go underneath the brow, okay, and create a highlight. And what I'm going to use for that one is I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to go underneath the brow and I'm using the frosted gold, the gold frosty color. Look how much that already creates and picks up a color and highlight there. I'm gonna do that on the exact same, exact same thing on the other side. See how it creates that beautiful highlight? And then what I like to do is with the white, I even like to create a little bit more right on the outside of the brow bone, on the outside, not on the inside, just because it's white, you don't wanna look like too white, like Mimi, you don't want that. So, beautiful, looks great. Now, if I want to create a lip, let's create a beautiful kind of coppery lip, okay? I'm gonna go in, do I have my lip brush? Probably not. Do I have my lip brush? I do, woohoo! This unique lip brush is amazing. See if I can get, oh, it's got some product on it. Okay, let's not use that. Let's use my splurge brush, okay? So, I need to use the cream. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a brand new lip gloss from Unique, which is the one I want. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use Prudent Lip Liner. Just to line the lips, this is a nude color, completely nude. It's gonna go along with my face, okay? In color tone, okay? I'm gonna use this beautiful color. How come, where is my other lipstick? It's not with me. I'm gonna use this brand new color that's coming out March 1st, which is Lunar. Okay, it's very, very light. And then what I'm gonna do is go back in with Lustrous. And even put it on my lip. So it creates a little bit of sheen you can put gloss on top of this. You can put gloss, actually mix it in with the gloss, but you can put this under the gloss and then put a gloss on top, a clear one or anything. It'll really give a base to the color and then also give a beautiful, beautiful glow on top. Okay, so <clears throat> do's and don'ts. I'm gonna also go in with this translucent powder that is brand new to Unique too. So if I'm oily, I want to go in the oily spots of my skin and put powder on there, okay? This iridescent translucent powder is amazing. And what I'm going to do is go into, I'm going to use this other side and go underneath, okay, and create
okay? I'm gonna go in with the size of my nose, okay? And then I'm also gonna go underneath here. Any spots that I really didn't put a cream on, I am gonna use a translucent powder because I get oily. This translucent powder is amazing, everyone. It really has like a mesh. This mesh right here, it's bouncy like a trampoline. And so a lot of product won't be sitting up and you won't lose a lot of product. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. So do's. Brighten your eyes and look instantly more awake by applying the powder luminizer on the inner corner of the eyes, like I already said. That's gonna create an instant, instant glow. Now I use a blending bud right now, but what I would use is a finishing spray so nothing moves it. All the powder doesn't, um, doesn't look like powder and a fishing spray will let everything just sit and blend right into your skin and look beautiful throughout the entire day. I'm gonna go in with this rose gold and create a little bit of a blush, this powder, okay? So don't, don't apply the luminizer around the eyes on mature skin because what that's going to do is highlight wrinkles, okay? You do not want that. So I've got the luminizer. It's got a little bit of shimmer on here. So what I'm gonna do is apply on my cheek. So where I had the luminizer, the other one, I'm gonna create some color there. Now you can do blush first and then do your illuminizers. That's a, another good idea. It really doesn't matter what, what order you do it in. Okay, apples of my cheek. This is like the rose gold and you can use a co copper. See that? Creates a beautiful, beautiful glow. Now, dews. Okay, give yourself a complexion dewy skin look by using liquid luminizer bronzer on your cheekbones, chin, bridge of your nose and your forehead. So if you want to look like you're super tanned, okay, then go in with the opulent, okay, and go in with that to get a sun-kissed bronzy glow. That's the darkest color. So you can go in with that as a bronzer all over your face instead of a necessarily a highlighter, okay? Don't, <laughs> don't apply luminizer on oily parts of the area because if you have oily skin, you're gonna see spots arise and it's going to even look more shinier, okay? Now, do use a luminizer on the cupid's bow to create, um, to create a beautiful bigger lip. Don't outshine yourself. A little luminizer goes a very, very long way underneath the eye for an application will look absolutely beautiful. Now, don't limit yourself to, which is a don't, don't, luminize, don't limit yourself to one type of luminizer, which you know is a powder highlighter or a cream. You wanna keep a versatility because you can use it for so many different reasons. If you have powders, you can use it for your eyes. If you have a stick, you can have it on the go. And if you have liquids, you can mix it in with your foundations. So every single woman should have all different types of illuminizers, okay? You can use it in different forms for different ways of using it. A do is, the other thing is, is to mix it in with your body lotion. I was talking about this a little bit e earlier. You can even use a body lotion, mix a luminizer liquid and mix it in and put it on the shins. If you want a little bit of a lighter glow and even glow, you can put it in with your lotion, put it on your shins, which have a beautiful highlight on the front of your legs, especially if you have a sexy dress on during the summer or spring. Put it on your shins, put it with your lotion, and then also put it on the top of your skin. Okay, so a, a liquid luminizer can be mixed in with your body lotion and make it look absolutely glowing all over your body, okay? So that is the do's and don'ts. And that's really how I would use illuminizers and how to use them. It's very, very simple and it's so easy to use. Now, if you're, like I said, if you're a presenter, you need to get all of them. Hands down tomorrow, get absolutely every color and every you know powder, the cream and the liquid, hands down. If you're a customer, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you. 
I am going to be getting my hands on a whole new set and can easily sell them um, to our customers um, before March 1st. And then also what I like to do is, another thing is contouring. I like to use a contour now to really contour inside the skin. I don't know if I have a contour maybe. Give me one second. I'm going to go in with a little bit of contouring with cashmere, okay? It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I'm going to go in and create a little bit of contour so it gives a dimension to my skin, okay? Just to show you that, okay? This is using the angle brush and underneath here to really create that dimension. And the luminizer can be used last after everything is done if you're contouring because it's going to then highlight those areas that you really want it to, okay? So it does re lo really look absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, it really gives a beautiful finish. And even with the cream, you could be using it underneath your eyes and creating a liner underneath the eye to create a little bit more openness underneath your bottom lash. So you can use a cream or even a powder to really open up the eyes again and really have a shimmery look and you can use it as an eyeliner everyone. It looks great as an eyeliner too. So customers, if you're interested in luminizers, please contact me, be happy to help you. Again, my name is Ella Whitaker. I'm an exclusive black status presenter with unique and professional makeup artists. I hope this was all helpful for you. And if you haven't followed me as a customer, definitely you can follow me or even message me and I'll be happy to help you with anything you need. Thanks everyone. Happy Sunday. Bye.